Welcome to the night section. Have you noticed that artists are on top of the world doing great, but time and time again, they dig their own grave by just opening their mouths and talking on the internet. Long gone are the days of artists being artists. They are now personalities too. Artists have lost their mystique, which can be considered a good thing, as a lot of us now see celebrities and artists for what they really are, which is human. But the flip side of this, of managing a long-standing career, you being the artist, it is important for you to understand how to do fame and how to be famous. This is something I don't really hear many people talk about. People tell you how to get there, but not what to do when you actually get there. My favorite line, which is used across all industries, but this is from Kendrick Lamar's The Pimple Butterfly on the song Wesley's Theory, where Dr. Dre calls in and says, quote, but remember, anybody can get it. The hard part is keeping it mother effort. This is to say in the context of this video that fame is an art. And if any of you ever want to be famous, I'm pretty sure you don't want to just be famous for a day. You want long lasting fame. And in order to create a solid structure, you must have a proper foundation, proper rules and principles to abide by. So for this video, I created my own rules based on studying two of the greatest artists of our time, in my opinion. But a big disclaimer before I begin. I am no leader of any particular industry, nor an expert on the art of fame. But what I am is someone that is passionate about pop culture and pays attention to patterns. These are the five rules. Rule number one, perfect your craft. Right there, for, for the young artists out there that wants to aspire to do some of the things that mm -hmm. you've done, what, what's a word of wisdom that you'd give them? Well, trust yourself, know who you are. I would say rehearse, practice, mm. and you know, it doesn't matter if you're in front of Target, a daycare, wherever they, they you say have it to takes 10,000 hours, 10, hours to, master. to master. Exactly. Well, you would agree with that? Absolutely. And I, I put the same amount of effort into whatever I did and so did the other girls. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter what it was. And eventually it prepares you for greatness. So work, 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 work. Have you noticed people who tend to last long in the music industry also tend to be very good at what they do? That is no coincidence. And with the internet, we know a lot of people who blow up and that's great. I'm happy that the floodgates are open and everyone is able to live out their dreams and potentially monetize the very thing that they love. But we also see a lot of artists plateau or fizzle out when they do get hot or famous. And in my personal opinion, the reason why a lot of these artists fizzle out or are not highly regarded in terms of artistry is because of the lackluster material. And I admit that it is difficult nowadays to stay focused with social media but as robert green mentions in the art of mastery quote in the future the great division will be between those who have trained themselves to handle these complexities and those who are overwhelmed by them those who can acquire skills and discipline their minds and those who are irrevocably distracted by all the media around them and can never focus enough to learn end quote so who will you be distracted by social media, television, news, politics, drama, gossip, or you sit down and get to work. If you want to be successful, if you want to be famous, recognized, and actually keep it, it means you need to perfect your craft. As Charles Munger says, to get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. The world is not yet a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. Rule number two, keep your mental in check. Because it will and it can take over your life. And if you don't know how to handle it, um, it can be very detrimental. A few legends, you know, that turn to different uh, negative avenues because they don't know how to deal with it, whether it's drugs, uh, whether it's violence, uh, whether it's uh, abuse in different areas, because the drug fame is just so crazy. You need somewhere to release it and to release them feelings and, and express yourself. And sometimes people don't have people to talk to. The yin and the yang exist within every aspect of life. This could be described as the feminine and the masculine, as well as the good and the bad. A lot of people talk about the good things about fame, but they forget to tell you that fame and popularity also breeds hatred. Meaning people will project their insecurities onto you. People will gossip about you, drag your name through the mud. And if you're thinking to yourself that you are equipped to handle these things, think again. I'm over this shit pretty, pretty soon. You know, I got two more albums in me and then, and then, and then you're not going to see me because this, 
this is not a breeding place for a healthy mind you see what it does to people this is not where this is not where real people come from this is not you mean you mean ce celebrity world more yeah than like entertainment. yeah yeah just like this is not like y'all know like this is not where real people interact at this is like this whole shake hands kiss babies that's how the kids are doing just so that you can get a spin or a playlist like this is not reality this is this is this weirdo ass coach and i'm not with it you feel me i'm just really i'm really not with it if i was not and this is not to scare you guys but if you are not actively taking care of your mind even now before you get famous you are in a whirlwind of trouble we hear about the Lindsay Lohans, the DMXs, the Whitney Houstons turning to drugs and some dying because they are unable to deal with what comes with fame. The constant scrutiny, the constant attention. As Russ said, this celebrity culture is not a place for the healthy mind. It does alter you, meaning if you don't take care of what's between those ears, fame will eat you up and spit you out. And in order to maintain fame and be famous and to be highly regarded, you have to take care of those things, which could mean talking to a therapist or counselor or taking medication and having real people around you that truly love and support you. Rule number three, be ever evolving. It's really about me challenging myself. I think my excitement in doing music is me feeling like uh, I'm never stagnant me feeling like um, I didn't get comfortable in, in you know my own skin of what I think is good or what someone else thinks is good you know stepping outside of my comfort zone and, and mastering it you know and that excites me and when I feel like I've accomplished that it just keeps the, 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 the hunger for more going like I, I don't feel like I can ever stop in order to keep being on top of your game, and this relates to any aspect in life, you must be ever evolving. I think the misconception in a lot of the industry is that you must adjust your sound to the times, but that's not the case. You must move in the opposite direction. When they go right, you go left. When they go high, you go low. Perfect examples of this are both Beyonce and Kendrick. Every album they've ever produced is different from the previous one. The Pimp a Butterfly was completely different from Good Kid Mad City, and Beyonce's album 4 was completely different from I Am Sasha Fierce. And it's remarkable because both of these albums dropped at a time where the music was moving in the opposite direction. What is interesting about both these artists is their commitment to continually challenge themselves and be the best version of themselves. You never know their next move in terms of the music or projects they're going to release, which leaves an air of mystery and anticipation for the fan. I think artists need to continually evolve, whether that be in terms of their sound, performance, style, and approach to even writing. This isn't an option. This is a must if you want to stay at the top. And this is a common theme across all genres with artists that are considered the greats in their genre. Rule number four don't aspire to be famous. I do not think that fame is, uh, I don't think that people should aspire to it. I think it should be something that happens if people like your work and then it's cool, it's fine. But I think there's way too much emphasis put on just trying to get attention and it's being rewarded and supported in this weird way. There's nothing wrong with getting attention, but it should make sense. It should make sense. There should be some reason. And if it's out of balance, yeah. you know, you should, you should probably look at like, why, why is it out of balance? This might be a counterintuitive rule, but in order to maintain status or fame, do not thirst for it. You ever notice when you hold on to something, it pushes away, but the minute you let go of that very thing or situation, it somehow shows up at your doorstep and suddenly you're attracting that very thing that you've wanted effortlessly. This is not by accident. How to interpret this is as so. Focus on your craft. Focus on the process of what you're doing. Long standing fame in the music industry, at least in the good sense, is a byproduct of excellence. And excellence is achieved by hard work, grit, and dedication. As the comedian Steve Martin said, be so good they can't ignore you. Let your work speak for itself. Don't get it confused. This doesn't mean stay in anonymity. Use the resources available to you like social media to get your work out there. Don't try to be Instagram famous by just being Instagram famous. Be the artist that happened to just blow up because of Instagram. 
and once you're already at a certain level among the Kendricks and Beyonce's of the world, the same applies. Social media is just a necessary evil to market the music. It's your choice whether you want to be controlled by it or simply use it as a tool. Rule number five, and this is my favorite, shut up. Have you noticed that big artists and celebrities don't really talk too much? They're not constantly on Instagram live to incriminate themselves or voicing opinions that don't need to be said. People complain about cancel culture, but are unable to read the room. We get it, you're an artist and you have the right to create a freedom and expressing your thoughts. But at the end of the day, if you want to keep the bag and stay where you're at, know when to shut up. In the book 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene, Law 38 states, quote, think as you like, but behave like others. When you're in the music industry, it's like any other job. You're not going to go into the office to voice some controversial opinions on women in the workplace, for example. They will have you fired the same day. This is no different from being a musician. If you want to be able to tour big stadiums, be on commercials, know that you are doing business with other business entities that also have an HR team and a brand that they are not willing to tarnish. Your personal grievances and opinions could be detrimental to your own bag without you even realizing it. And know that there are people constantly watching you and taking mental notes. You are an artist, not the president. Learn from Kendrick and Beyonce. Their silence speaks volumes. You don't hear a peep from them unless it's an interview or a grand production. They know their level of competency and stay within it. The less you talk, the less controversy, the more people will appreciate you for your music. And the longer you will last in this industry. Use the music as your talking tool. Other than that, limit your quote unquote thoughts and opinions. The world will humble you just as fast as you wrote at that tweet or Instagram post. This is all from the night section. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, leave a like, engage in any way. Let's have a discussion. And finally, hit the bell notification if you do want to see more. Night section out.